How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profit. And you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, I want to let you know we do this five days out of the week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, or maybe it was a market conditions when you came to watch this video plus hear one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. A termite walks into a bar and says, is the bartender here? Get it? Termites eat wood, no bartender. But anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is OCGN, which ended up having a green day inside of the market. We have seen it pulling back and of course seeing it get back to the $7 range. You already know I'm excited about it, but we're going to be talking about it further. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance and potential moves we can look forward to, whether it's in a bullish case scenario or even in a bearish case scenario. And then we're going to go on Fintel taking a look at the short interest information. We want to know, are shorts increasing their positions? What is it really looking like? Because we know this does contribute to the overall volatility. And then we're going to take a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know, are institutions loading up on shares today? Was there a lot of selling pressure coming on the retail side? We're going to find that all out. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for OCGN. Let's see how it performed on the day. So we ended up closing at $7.09 being up 4.26%. On the low, it tested $6.78, and then on the high, testing $7.12. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 7.488 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 12.479 million shares. So we did have below average volume on the day, but due to the fact, again, we've been dealing with quite the pullback for some time and we had some buying coming into the play pushing it to 709. Now when we take a look at our chart which is a one year daily chart we can see from the RSI down below it's at 48.36 so almost in the middle of there and then when we take a look at the price action on the chart you can see that we are below all of our major moving averages but one thing to do keep in mind of the fact we are still sitting on an area of support right at this seven dollar level so do know as far as for the 200 day is concerned, that's where I want to see us actually reclaim. And that's at $7.27. We ended up seeing a high of $7.12. So it would be great to see some momentum above this level so we can come back to reclaim the 200 day and then making that move going on even further. But just keep that in mind, 727 is going to be an area of resistance. If we do decide to pull back going into tomorrow, then the next level that I'm going to want to see hold up is right here here around the 670s or even the 680 because we did test 678 on the day so pulling back or being in that particular area I would not be mad at and of course this is something that we were also used to we were finishing just below seven as well so just keep that in mind going in for tomorrow but I will definitely want to see if we have some FOMO that's going to be coming into the play especially since who said they're going to be giving us a decision if we end up getting that decision you already know I'm looking for a strong move for us to get to it at least ten dollars but if we don't get there hey i'll be honest i'll be happy even at nine but i'm looking for a move that goes above ten so we're going to take a look at the short interest information for ocgn so we could see from the dark pool short volume ratio being at 51.62 and then for the dark pool short volume being at just over two million shares and then for the short interest percentage of the float being at 27.20 so Scrolling down further on the page, a short shares availability is at 700,000 updated 27 minutes ago. And then for the short borrow fee rate, it is at 2.88%. Now, when we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we can see for the close of the fifth, it was at 56.86. And in the close for the sixth, which was yesterday, being at 51.62. Two. So taking this into consideration, yes, shorts have decreased their positions when it comes to OCGN. And I'm going to say, hey, 
We do have who that said they're going to be giving us a decision sometime next week. So maybe we have some shorts saying, well, you know what? Maybe it's about time I kind of take my foot off the pedal here. But one thing we have to keep in mind, OCGN does continue to have short squeeze potential. So now let's jump into the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for OCGN. So we can see here on the inflow, it was 9,846. And on the outflow, it was 11,398. When we take a look at the breakdown on the large, we had 213. On the medium, we had 6,812. And then on the small, we had 2,821. When we take a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 217. And then on the medium, it was 7,420. And then on the small, it was 3,761. So we ended up having an outflow day. Now, when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, October the 7th, being that outflow of 4.66. So overall, we did not have a lot of volume whatsoever. But what we can clearly see here, yes, there was a lot of selling on the retail side for the most part. But when we take a look at what's happening with the large scale orders, not a big difference whatsoever 213 versus 217 yes outflows did win out but institutions were purchasing up shares of OCGN and part of the reasons why I'm very excited about this is anticipation we already know we're going to be getting that who decision that should be coming sometime next week so like I was saying before in previous videos I can see there might be a little bit of FOMO and also people making sure to get their positions in because of course OCGN was trading under seven dollars for quite some time so now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well so for my final thoughts for OCGN it was great to see that we were able to close above seven dollars we were struggling to do that on prior days but of course since there is demand and there's a lot of anticipation for that who decision sometime next week this is why we're seeing appreciation in the stock also many might try to buy the rumor and sell the news so I want to make sure that you can actually prepare yourself for the volatility volatility that comes ahead with this play. Also, when we went on Fintel, you can see as far as for the short interest information, it continues to have short squeeze potential. But one thing that we did see, we are seeing a reduction in regards to the short volume. So it'll be very interesting to see what it will be later on in the evening, taking into consideration the close as for today. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy about what the price action we got. And it'd be great to see if we can come back to reclaim the 200 day being at around $7.27. But hey, if we even just finish at seven again for tomorrow, I won't be mad either. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.